Hey Dewdrops, it's Diane from Corvina and welcome back to day five of our series including powder blue in lavender paints with little touches of white or gray thrown in. So if you haven't done it so yet, you should go to the Pinterest board, which is linked below, and check out the inspirational pictures for this series. I got all the pictures from Instagram, so make sure and click through so you can see what um, where what accounts these came from, because they're pictures from accounts all over the world, totally beautiful artists. There's too many of them, or else I would list them all here, okay? So check out that link. And um, today, we are doing another paper in our series and I want we've done a lot of really light lavenders and so I want to come back with a little bit more of like a deeper purple here so there's I would still classify them as lavenders maybe this is more of a grape but we've got our two blues and so my goal is to have these two colors be more of the standout like get really nice vibrant prints off that and we'll have a little bit of gray here as well all right, so we've got five colors. Here is our inspirational collage, if you haven't seen it yet. All right, let's make something really pretty. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is put down our layer of gray. I just wanna use this to prime our paint the surface of our tray for the rest of our paint. The reason why I do this in all of my videos is because it pushes everything out of where you're working. All right. Sometimes uh, you might run into trouble where you've got empty spots, which are no big deal. I think empty spots really, um, they really make all of your colors pop, but some people don't like it. And that's why I do it. All right. So I'm going to come in. What shall we do? What shall we do? Let's just put down some lines here. We keep moving in lines though. Maybe we should switch it up. All right, we'll put down these here. We'll switch it up with our blue. All right, let's come in with one of our darker blues one of the two blues we're using in our pattern today. Over here, that paint just ran right out of my bottle. We might have a widespread on that one. Okay, so we got a lot of blue. It's definitely a little bit darker. I feel like or I feel like I should do this <laughs> because our lavender is at the top and the bottom of the tray. So I feel like when we dip our paper down, we're not going to get that prettier lavender. Okay, so I'm gonna just let this paint here disperse a little bit more and move our paint around just a little bit. I'm gonna go nice and slow. All right, and this time we'll do the nonpareil pattern. That's just, you know, that just means with a comb that has teeth very close together, we're gonna get a bunch of little arches. Here we go. Uh-oh, I got trouble. I have a couple of teeth in this comb that need to be looked at. They're getting a little crooked. But I think it looks good like this. Let's just stop here since we know we like it. 
or kind of like it at least. I don't want to overwork the paint. Okay, ready? Let's lower down the paper. Here we go. Okay, dewdrops, let's see what we've got. Ooh, I'm glad we stopped. I like this right here. Do you like it? I think it fits with our theme. There might be a little bit more grape here um, than what was in our Pinterest board, our inspiration board. But I still think it's pretty. I like all of the different lines and the little detail that's in there. I think it looks pretty wet. I hope I think I hope I like it dry. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Make sure and leave a comment and let me know if you think this is a good idea to have a color palette and then just to do a whole bunch of them. Because honestly, I spend a lot of time preparing the paints and you guys never see that. So if we have pretty colors, then we can focus on making a bunch of different pretty paintings with those colors. All right, and it's fun to have a series, I think. Okay, so this is Diane from Coravina. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video. That really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching and spending your time water marbling with me. Um, all right, remember to go to coravina.com and find a new scarf or water marbled good, okay? All right, bye, dewdrops. Remember, live colorfully.